Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, you know, today we are answering a question from one of our viewer that what actually we are building and what we mean, what we mean by build in DevOps. So, you know, uh, this is yet a very important question. And, you know, when you are entering into DevOps or uh, the question or this confusion might arise. So let's break it down so that the things are very clear that what we are building, whether we are building package, what uh, application or what we are building. So yeah, without further ado, let's start. So what we make, what we mean by a build. So when we have a code and we have to turn that code into a runnable product, a useful product so when we write java codes so basically we want that after that code should get compiled should get tested then we will build a package and then that package when bundled will make a running application so that is what we mean by build we with build we can say that we are making uh, you know package we are building uh, so when packages are combined then then application is deployed an application is a running version which we see which the user see it can be a web app it can be a android application it can be you know another application another sort of application but application is something which is a final product which can be formed by many packages when we talk about microservice architecture so we have many services so all those services will be built into a package and when those packages are deployed together they build a application for that we can also uh, you know uh, we can also build an image a docker image for deploying an application that is another version so when we have a code just code doesn't help us to have a running application correct when we have a code we have to decide to turn it into a running application we need to decide that the code gets compiled okay test all test and scans should be done and after everything is done okay then we try to you know try to build a dot jar dot you know dot wall or dot exe or you know you try to build a docker image with all the dependencies correct so so that once that package or that you know jar file is uh, deployed on a server or you know wherever it is deployed it will in turn become a runnable application so this happens once we deploy these packages so after deployment we'll add that after deploying packages okay so I hope little bit is clear what we are building. So when we have a code, it's just a code, a source code. That source code we cannot deploy and make an application running. That source code should be bundled with the dependencies with all. So what we mean by packages 
building packages suppose we have an application so our front end code is written in node js something else so that will be one package that we will create our back end is written in something else some other text tag that will be created in another uh, artifact another artifact will be created or another package will be created and when those both packages are deployed on the server then our application will be running that will be our final code so i hope what we are building we are building the package in turn we are building an application only but to build an application we need to build the packages the artifacts okay so now you will have a confusion what are packages what are artifacts so artifacts is actually the output of a build process you can call it as a package or you can call it as a artifact in devops artifacts is basically used this term is used so that is a you know final output after the build so uh, like i have given a real life example that when we have any uh, application which is you know um, java based so to build it we will have maven maven so that will build the package or artifact or dot jar file uh, of our source code so the uh, build tools that we use mostly that i want to talk about keep it here like maven is a build tool then uh, maven is a build tool then we have gradle you know gradle is for android applications too then we have you know docker for building the docker images then we have npm for node.js application for python we have pip so these are all build tools which help in compiling the source code then testing them out and then packaging them with the dependencies so yeah that's all i hope this important topic is clear to every one of you so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye